Greetings and Assalamu Alaikum to the students at Al Qadisiyah University in Iraq and to the students at the University of Washington here in Bothell. Professor Al Mahdi and myself are really excited about this new course we're about to launch with all of you. And uh, so thank you for participating and I want to especially thank the students at al Qadisiyah University for doing the course in English, uh, which will really help us out a lot. Um, I know you are engaged in uh, developing your English skills uh, as part of the course, uh, and, um, and we will be doing this course called The Great Debates East and West, then in English, and it's already a challenge to be able to figure out how do you debate uh, but to do it in a language that is not necessarily native uh, is an uh, additional challenge. So thank you first for um, offering to, um, uh, to do that um, with us and uh, give us a break. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I had to uh, do a debate in Arabic, I would lose in the first second <laughs> with my skills. We're going to be doing um, this course uh, in a way that you, each of you will have a chance to be on a debate team and debate two um, social issues of your choosing. And you'll each have a list of these and then you'll get into a global team based on your choices to debate these two issues. Um, first, uh, the first issue um, where you'll we'll debate it in a, um, a live video conference. And, and then the second one a few weeks later in which you'll again be able to debate that issue and uh, uh, in a live video conference that we will do in the classroom. So we'll tell you more about that as we get um, into it. So you'll be learning these debating skills. And then the second thing is you're going to be learning how to work in a virtual global team, a really important skill in today's uh, global economy. And then the third thing is you'll, through this whole process, really get a chance to get to know one another better. And we hope that um, you'll be sharing perspectives and sharing your lives with each other. And one of the first things we'll do uh, is to introduce ourselves on a closed Facebook group. Um, this means only the students at our two universities um, in these two classrooms will be able to see the content and exchange content there. And uh, one of the ways we'll do the introduction is what we call the cultural artifact strategy. And what that means is you'll introduce yourself, but you'll introduce yourself with some object that has particular meaning to you. Now, it could be funny, it could be serious, it just needs to be something that's important to you and will tell us something that many people may not know about you, but that's meaningful to you. So, for example, my cultural artifact today is the banjo. And I bring that because I love playing the banjo. Now, I've had been fortunate enough that I've been able to travel to a good number of places uh, over the years, one of them being Iraq uh, about 10 years ago. And when I do travel, I always take my banjo with me. And I do that because, as I told you, my language skills are not all that great, but I think of music as the universal language. And you may not know the words, but when you start playing music, people relate. So there's something important uh, to me about that. And um, in fact, my life's work is about how we can better communicate with each other across countries and across cultures. So that will be one of the exercises we'll do. Um, over the course of time, You'll be interacting and hopefully sharing um, current events um, and uh, uh, things that you read uh, both from Iraqi sources and U.S. sources about the issues that you'll be studying and talking about that um, online. That's the broad outline of this course. Uh, by the time you leave, hopefully you'll understand um, not only Iraqi culture better and some of the issues there and U.S. culture better, but you'll understand um, others um, and yourself 
um, in new and hopefully um, surprisingly surprising in good ways. Good luck and take care.